Well, folks, we are about 20 miles from the boat launch of one of our favorite yes. places to yep. come fi musky fishing. I've only been here three times and it's always, oh no, this would actually be the third time. We've always caught fish here. <laughs> That's a good thing. Not not many people can, can say that on a trip up, a short trip here. Uh, you may notice, you look out the window, we're not moving. No. <laughs> we're not going anywhere. So we get away up north and guess what? We've got some road construction. Yeah. So, yeah. but we're, we have a nice new paved road. No, for sure. No, uh, we we are itching to get on the old old big V. Catch a giant one of those ghost fish that you know you see pictures of a handful of the year. Yeah. V. Yeah. Pinkies crossed. Whatever. It's been a while. Crossed. I know. When was the last time we were here? Ah, uh, last. And so August been, last year. Okay. Yeah, yep. yep. That is correct. Yep. So uh, hopefully we'll get the boat launched here and catch a giant at. Uh, it'll be basically almost sunset. So. <laughs> that, that, I've caught some then. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think that's a good time. <laughs> All right, Robbie. You ready? Catch a big one this year. <laughs> Here we are on the spot where Robbie got a beautiful mid upper 40 on the flap nine. First one, first fish for me on that bait, and uh, <laughs> kind of it's kind of nice. <laughs> okay, I will be starting out with actually the flap 10. Slow, no wake. I actually this pattern, this size bait, this was the lake I had in mind to fish with that bad boy. Let's see if it actually works. All the time I've been dreaming about throwing this bait out here. There we go. Slow, no wake. Ooh. Come on, big girl, big girl. She went down, she went down. Big girl, big girl. Wow, big white one. That, that was unbelievable. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, giant. That was 50 inch class fish. Big white ghost, come on. How did she not do it, dude? Come on, eat that spinner bait. Oh man. Folks, I am not kidding. That was so flipping close. The first night, flap 10 just about scored a mondo. Total, what? Another trip to Minnesota with a 50 inch plus fish, you see. Oh this man. That was just incredible. Just, I mean, it was breaking the water after this thing. Okay, my heart's going now, folks. Holy crap, I'm gonna turn this light off and keep casting. Oh. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. The noise was incredible. That was such a weird, I just look over and there's just, it was like a spot just open in the water column on top. And it was just a back. Got her, oh, I missed her. It's it's uh, about a 42. It stuck there for a while. About a 42, just hung up on the surface. Oh my gosh. Well, that's about, uh, I don't know, um, six, seven minutes after having that giganto come up on the Big Ten here. Oh my gosh. I. I kind of had her pinned for half a second and she just kind of hung on the surface there. I know you obviously could not see it, but I'm sure you could hear it. Um, yeah, uh, flap 10 on Vermilion. I've been waiting for this. Well, one thing I could tell you, that got interesting really fast. <laughs> yeah, second spot on Vermilion here, and we have an absolute giant. I couldn't believe, just looking down at Lee's, Lee's flap 10 and looking behind it, and there's just this big seal, white seal. Just, oh yeah. 
killing. Like Robbie said, more <laughs> of it was out of the water than in the water. It was yeah. so close, literally that close to happening. Yeah, unreal. And then lose a you know low 40 inch just after. It's just insane how muskies act. You know, just a quick 10 minutes and uh, yeah, no action at a perfect moonrise. Oh yeah. We kind of stayed on her, and you know that's what we usually do. We just kind of, kind of hover around the area, and uh, the talking hover did not yeah, pay off. Yeah, didn't happen. So, on to new water, and uh, hopefully, some more big girls show up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking this program so far. We will uh, hopefully come back at with you, a 50. Yeah, but we need. <laughs> yes, sir. Good morning, folks. We are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning, aren't we, Robbie? Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I don't know what that means. That seems like an old person term. It's an old person term. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it up. No, no, I don't think so. Well, unfortunately, we were unsuccessful at boating a muskie last night. Yeah. Uh, really narrow window. Uh, it, well, we actually had a weather change uh, yep. at, that, uh, at that point. The clouds had just totally left us, yep. and that's when we had the action from the two yep. fish. And then uh, no action after that. Day two on Vermilion here. We got moon in a half hour. Pretty excited with this wind. <laughs> yeah, I, I always like wind on big water, uh, other than waves, but, uh, and, right. <laughs> and let's just add a little side note here. Yeah. Um, yeah, today's gonna be very challenging for Lee. Lee did something really, yeah. really stupid last night. Lee died. I died in the <laughs> boat. Um, Actually, I actually tripped on the net and twisted my ankle really bad, and I can't even get a shoe on right now, to be honest. Yeah. I'm probably gonna be fishing, sitting down on top of a Lakewood box. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's, it's, I just gotta uh, keep my weight off of it, so. But I'll be here for your yes, support, yep, too. Yep. <laughs> I'll, this probably when I'll catch a giant muskie, but. Right, uh, right. Hopefully that adrenaline kick in, and uh, he'll be fine. Reeling one in, netting one, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I got some pain pills in me, yep. and uh, I guess we're gonna go from there. Yep. So. Hopefully it happens. Hopefully we get to that point today. <laughs> if I was at home, I would be at the doctor's right yes. now. There's no yep. doubt. Yep. So we'll just see how this goes. Uh, be bouncing around today. Yep. Okay, folks, welcome to my casting position for the day. I've got my trusty Lakewood medium. And as you can see, we got that nice and full of all kinds of fun stuff and uh yeah i'm just gonna plop my butt down hope for the best and i'm gonna start out with the bait i caught the last fish on for me which was the uh mini boiler in black and perch pattern chartreuse blade robbie what do you got rolling I've got the micro shredder Ooh. See, Minnesota hasn't seen this yet. <laughs> yeah, this is like brand spanking new. All right, let's let's start shredding. Let's start shredding. Oh, under me. That's yep. That's a good one. She was just paddling around up high. freaking weird it's like 47 yeah. she was just way up high in the column it was like coming up the wrong direction that was bizarre okay we've had our first musky sighting at what time 11 all right peppy Oh, there we go, fish on. Fish on. Just barely slurped that flap. Okay, folks, this is sitting down musky fishing. <laughs> this is just weird, man. <laughs> what, what's happening here? 
just nice barely slurped it. Oh, she's dogging me hard. Okay, right. Nope, not yet. There we go. No. She's mean. Dude. She is a little angry up here on the rocks. Come on, come on, girl. Now she's really upset. Okay. On the board, sitting Woo. down, musky fishing. <laughs> Flat tail again. Oh my gosh. What did I make? About 10 casts yeah. for that thing? Here, I got you the net. This, we'll get, us out get on the troll here. Wow. The flap does it again. <laughs> it was like less than 10 casts, no doubt. Unbelievable. Well, whoa, almost lost her there. Once again, once again, cast with old reliable this is uh, the janky flap tail this is uh, flap tail number two that I ever made you see it's got the old loon paint job fish don't care what color it is what color is that it's wood color all right it's kind of hung up in the net I'm just gonna grab the fish out there okay musky aboard and that's a pretty darn solid fish Unreal. We got some super so that we got some super sick weather coming in. Barometers on the fall. They're talking one to two inches of rain tonight. Yeah. That's fun. They're starting to bite now. Okay, let's get this beautiful. This fish is heavy. This is a nice, nice little fish here. Okay, girl. I appreciate that. That was that was such a slurp of that bait. Come here. Come here. Oh, she got away from me. She's up, right? There you go. Well, that wasn't the most graceful release. She kind of got away from me, but uh, looks like she's down. She's good. Water's actually 72 degrees. Hard to think that just not more than a couple weeks ago, it was uh, 80 degrees out here, so pretty crazy. All right, things are looking up. All right, there you have it. The ugly flap tail. Still works. I don't know how many fish are on this thing. I'm not really a bean counter when it comes to fish, so. But it's dozens and dozens and dozens and probably a couple more on top of that. All sharp, ready to go. Spreader bars bent back into shape. Okay, as you can see, this spot is just a totally classic Canadian shield rock spot. You've got a nice little island and you got some mainland over here and you've got a perfect saddle. Comes up to about one, two feet in that saddle. Of course, you can see a buoy there, but uh, just a classic spot. You've got the wind pounding through here. We've had, uh, it's kind of a little more southwest now. Gotcha. Blowing southwest, 10 to 15, maybe a couple of gusts higher, but this is a classic situation. You got the wind-induced current. This is a, a, mus, a musky recipe. Perfect, right here. Easy to say that now that we just caught one. Oh, come on, come on. Dang it, another one. Just did not get it. Dang it, dude, catch that stupid thing. Oh my gosh. That was a nice one. That'd have been a nice little two fish hour. Keep chunking, keep chunking. You fish are not, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. That's a good one. Oh, she's going down. Dang. Yeah, that was a 48, I'd say. Maybe 49. Dang it, dude. What is happening? What is this stupid bait? It's a broom handle. That is just sick. Wow, so freaking close. Here we go. Oh, yeah. 
sunk. Yep, yep. What? Yep. She doesn't want it fast. Oh my gosh, what is happening here? You could just see that thing glowing. So that's another fish. Oh my gosh. Well, that was fun. <laughs> what the heck just happened? I love this place. Minnesota is just incredible. Yeah, the first almost bite I had last night, over 50. Yeah, like you go your whole freaking two, three years in northern Wisconsin just to see a fish of that caliber, and there's one just waddling up, breaching it. Yeah. And then we have this little situation that just happened with uh, what what we saw, three 48 pluses probably. Oh my gosh. Insane. They're just it, it, These spotted so fish are just incredible they're just different creatures really interestingly we caught the fish on the height of the wind the wind there was kind of a heavier cloud that came over and that's when we popped that one and then the wind started to gradually go down and then i missed one so it was not as aggressive of a bite yep and then they got less and less aggressive yep. as the wind died so just tiny environmental changes yep. like that i mean yeah you can think about it all day but it doesn't matter until it's happening until, right so. does not help you until it happens so uh, getting rejuvenated yeah, there buddy little, little break here <laughs> little break my foot gimpy's I'm, gimpy's dying yeah, here this sucks. <laughs> be careful in the boat folks yeah tip of the day so we're just gonna hit a new spot and uh probably come back to this little 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 area when something happens again Still awesome to be on a trophy body of water like this. Feels good. Ooh, it does. Seeing big ones. Ah, just never gets old. All right, hopefully we uh, update you guys with a, with a big muskie here. They're around. <laughs> It was, he hit it from the head. Jeez, that was exciting. It wasn't a big one, <laughs> it was a fun sized one. And he, yeah, moth, wow, three, four hours. We have not seen a muskie, finally prime time, and uh, I guess it is prime time with a bite like that. Holy crap, that was exciting. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fun lure to get bit on. <laughs> you, you don't get that excitement from uh, other kind of fishing. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Jeez. Just sunk down about 43 42 it was moving quick he just got spooked fifty all the day all day same icon as last night, really? basically. Wow. Shoot, dude, that was a big fish. That was, close. Really close. that was a big fish. She was gonna do it for a second. <laughs> Felt good about that follow, man. Seven fish, all quality fish. Here we go. Another freaking big one. Four footer, not as big as the last one, but it's just as fat. Another giant. Huh, <laughs> the slow no way. I can't, I can't, I just can't right now. That sucks.
Well, with all that musky action last night, we were not able to get it done. Could you believe it? You know, these fish are sitting that shallow. They're coming in so hot, and it's like, well, we'll wait. We'll wait till dark, and yeah. Then nothing. Nothing. Nothing happened. The most frustrating fish on the planet. And, so uh, fun though. Yeah. That was some of the most exciting yeah. fishing I've had in a while. Yep. No, no, me too. Seeing big fish like that. Oh, it's a beautiful thing being back here in Minnesota. But uh, that's gonna wrap the last uh, two days of fishing. Yeah. Uh, it was fun. I love being up here. <laughs> the good news for us is we're starting day three right now, yep. and a storm just left here. Yep. So. We're going to go catch one. Hopefully, so. there'll be a video after this. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, catch us on day three. And don't forget to hit uh, that, that sub, 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 subscribe nice, button. Nice, nice. Good catch. Okay, <laughs> we right. will catch you on the next one. Thank you, folks.